What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Plan. It's been a while since I've given an update. Some people are asking me if I'm still working on The Plan. Since it's now the year 2020, a fresh new decade, in this vlog, I'll be giving you a complete update. I'm Dizzy of the Supernaturals crew. Come join me as we take the b-boy culture to the promised land. Firstly, when I speak about my work to create a sustainable battle industry for each city with a scene around the world, besides the title of this vlog series, I will no longer be calling it The Plan, but will now be calling it The Breaking Battle Business because, well, that's what it's really about, developing a business based on breaking battles. Currently, I'm here in the Philippines doing some research to see if I can develop a breaking battle business here. As of yet, I don't think the Philippines is ready, but I'll continue with my research and building my network out here. As some of you may know, I went back to Canada for a total of four months with my main objective, which was to research the Toronto breaking scene to see if it would be even possible to develop the breaking battle business there. Some of the things that I needed to take into account was the level of talent, the size of the scene, the startup cost of launching a b-boy battle business in Canada, the business and commercial laws, who the potential partners would be, if the b-boys would even want to earn a living from battling, and if the b-boys and b-girls would even be open to working together with me. When I left Toronto in 2010 to move to Korea, there was a lot of beef and unresolved things that I left behind. So upon my return, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Well, I'm pleased to announce that after the four months in Canada, I have not only found that the Toronto scene is ready, but the scene is more united than ever. I've also found the right local business partners and will be opening the first Toronto blockhouse upon my return to Canada in April. Now if you don't know what a blockhouse is, it's a b-boy clubhouse that converts into a mini battle arena where all the battles, events, parties, and of course, training takes place. This brings me to my update for the Jai City Dreamrunners blockhouse. Dreamrunners has successfully created a sustainable b-boy battle business. Inside their blockhouse, they have monthly showdowns for their closest fans and supporters. Majority of the revenue, however, comes from their monthly student tuition from their B-Boy Academy. They also receive merch revenue as well as income from their club bar, selling drinks and concessions. Non-blockhouse revenue streams come from crew showcases and special appearances. They also receive sponsor and government financial support through their Jai Street Dance Association. Last but not least, they organize large production rival city showdowns such as their showdown versus New York City and lately, Dream Runners versus Australia All-Stars. Now each member receives a monthly salary and a paid accommodations and I believe that they are on their way to being more than self-sustaining but in a few years, if they keep growing, they can be living with complete financial freedom. In my opinion, I would do a few things differently such as the interior design of the blockhouse which is one of the reasons why I moved back to Toronto. Actually, the main reason for moving home to Toronto is because although I proved that a rival city showdown can sell tickets to a general audience and I've also proven the business model and concept of the blockhouse, I still need to prove that this can work in a large scale city and that a local city league or association could benefit the local b-boy and b-girl crews by helping them to create their own fan base while helping the community to earn extra income through battles. With that said, I know a lot of people are wondering how that could work. So please continue to subscribe to me here on YouTube as I continue on my quest before breaking explodes after the 2024 Paris Olympics into the mainstream. It helps me get the word out when you click on the like button and if you allow notifications, you will get my updates like right away. Last thing I wanted to let y'all know is that I have a potential lead for a huge media partner to make this rival city battle league into a show throughout North America. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. Either way, I'll keep on going as I've dedicated my life to this culture because, you know, that's what I believe God wants me to do. So see you guys next week and peace!